But now we've got this amazing matchup for our first final of the day here for the Vans Duct Tape Invitational with Honolulu Bloomfield and Kalis Kaleopa'a. And this is one of those matchups of the titans. Honolulu Bloomfield with multiple world championships is up and riding now. Oh, Kalis Kaleopa'a in the red jersey. I both these surfers with such beautiful styles. I mean, I, I feel like this is a really great matchup. They're so similar in so many ways. Uh, both obviously hungry for a win, as you see. Kalis right there gets five over the nose. And she's going to ride this one all the way to the beach. So no problem with the transition there. I think things are changing a little bit uh, as we get through the day here. Uh, Huntington Beach is providing part of her repertoire that she's wanted to bring into the game and practice on. And then Kalise got a, got this for her opening ride. Beautiful footwork, style, grace, elegance all coming through in the young competitor and sets herself up now for a really nice finish as well. So she got the work done that she needed to out the back, which the judges are going to love. And then a nice, critical, in-the-pocket nose ride. Beautiful rail work as well. All right, but let's take a look back at Honolulu Bloomfield's first wave. Honolulu getting off. On an early start, got that nice nose ride to kick it off, and little cut back into the foam. This wave, not hugely critical, goes for that switch stance approach, which Honolulu is probably the best of in the women's side of the field. She's she's really been perfecting that over the last few years, but that true onshore hasn't quite hit yet, at least for the women's duct tape final. And that's what we want to see, nice clean waves like this. Here is your three-time world longboard champion, Honolulu Bloomfield doing what she does best, walking to the nose, finishing it off with a beautiful carve. Now she's fading right, scanning what's in front of her, doing some work. There you go, cross-stepping, another hang five. Ooh, and she gets worked on the inside section. You saw her running back to the tail. Really the only way you're gonna be able to ride down a steep section like that is to jump back on the tail. These boards have no rock. That'll be the best of the exchange that we've seen so far. We get to take one more look at this one. That was a nice critical hang five from Hono. And then that nice carve redirects here. And this is the really important thing. These women have been watching the conditions all day and they've already surfed. So they understand how important it is to find that inside reform. And it's looking a little bit easier than it did earlier today. An uncharacteristic fall. Now we're missing the world champ from 2020, but we'll get right back to that. Ooh, quick five to ten there for Kalise. Fans going wild. And this is just uh, such a great matchup. It's pure soul. I mean, both these surfers with beautiful styles, incredible, impeccable technique right there. That is just grace under pressure. Gets the toes over the nose, so multiple nose rides. Five and ten combinations there for Kalise Kaleopa'a. I would say that wave is uh, going to go into her score line in a nice way as well. We're straight through to the inside, really clean. But look at this wave selection. Those left standing up perfectly, finds a 10 after that five, and then just stays with it nice and steady here. So the outside nose ride going to be all of that critical risk the, the judges are paying close attention to. And then this is where I'm actually a little bit surprised that she wasn't able to make that transition. Found the nose right again. Uh, she has the luxury now of waiting, picking and choosing the waves that she wants. Uh, with a lead like that, that means Honolulu Bloomfield now needs a 7-5-7. Seven, seven. And uh, Kalise is not going to play the patience game. She's going to keep the pedal to the metal and apply the pressure onto Honolulu Bloomfield. But uh, from what we know, historically speaking, never count out Honolulu. Been calling her the Terminator for a reason. That is because she never gives up. Head to head many times, even though Kalise is only 17. You know, she is already a veteran in uh, this game. As we see now, Honolulu, that's the combo that uh, she has used for a lot of success, but another unforced error. That wave wasn't offering anything else, but that to me made that turn an incomplete maneuver because she wasn't able to continue that forward momentum. Yeah, that's something the judges are paying close attention today. Looking like she's gonna activate her priority, she does. Fading right, cross stepping over, and that wave dissipates beneath her. I'm not gonna call it a priority error just because there wasn't really anything happening right there and there's plenty of time to go. And I think she actually made a mistake by rushing out to the shoulder too quickly and not carving back. She could have had that inside connection really well and maybe done something with the score line. That was a ripple. Honolulu Bloomfield now. Kalise with the front row seat and Honolulu now pulls out. 
I don't know if that was uh, a purposeful pull. Police now back at it. Another ripple that could turn into something. So right now it's uh, really starting to feel like a cat and mouse game, right? They're just kind of testing the waves coming at them. And finishes off really well on the inside. She is looking to improve on a five. And then Khalees had a look at this one. That was a beautiful little combination. Keeps that flow moving. Nice bottom turn as well to project through after that outside nose ride. Start setting it up here. And we're really looking at this Grace coming through within her surfing, but also capitalizing on some great sections. During Evan Geisman's wave, there was an exchange during the interview, starting with Honolulu Bloomfield. Gets a little bit of work done out the back. Nothing too extreme, though. Just redirects here through to the inside and finds herself another nose ride. Great trim line. I like the use of that upper body as well. Kind of quiet. She always has that right arm up in the back, upheld nice and high. It's really the Honolulu. Nice looking peak here, right at the pier bowl. So Honolulu has shifted over towards the pier a little bit. She gets up on the nose. And that's the combination that's been getting her through so many heats in this competition. A little nose ride to turn. She does get that cross step cut back there. This wave could form up for her nicely on the inside. She's got some open face to work with. Building speed, momentum, gets the five over the toes. Or the five toes over the nose, I should say. And that's the clean ride out that we've seen from Honolulu. Heat after heat, Honolulu Bloomfield is back. 14.30 to go. Was it a 7.57? Wow, that was such a good wave. Let's have a look at it here. Sets it up. Quick footwork up to the nose. Gets fully locked over. That board, that nose, way locked into the arch of her foot as well, which just shows that commitment. I love the use of variety as well. Something the judges are loving is that cross step cut back as long as it's functional. And then you can see that bottom spray off that turn looking really, really solid. And then this, I was not thinking she was going to be able to make it through, but all of her experience in end sections like that doesn't make the inside connection. Curious to see what Khalees got up to on this one. Nice footwork, finds that little quick hang five, nice and smooth, and I love that little redirect as well. Beautiful rail-to-rail -rail surfing, which is what we want to see when those surfers need to gain a little bit of speed. Looks like she's not going to make But she did take out a big win within her career already. Khalees won the 2020 Noosa Longboard Open, which set her up as a front runner in the title race that year. Here she is. Quick hang five, cut back. That's the formula for success as we've seen so far. Now she's got a nice section to weave through and is unable to continue on down the line. That little lump that keeps coming up underneath these surfers, making it that much harder to do the connection. To get back in the lead, which has been held down since the very beginning of this heat by Khalees. But this happened during that break. This is Honolulu. She got that nose ride to start. This wave looking a little bit more bumpy as well. You can see that board just kind of picking up the bump as well as she's cutting through. It doesn't have quite as much flow to it. Seven and a half to go. Honolulu Bloomfield now. There is an opening, so if she can put up a big score right now in the wave out the on the outside section, no help at all, closes out all around her. You see her throw her hands up in frustration. The longboard tour especially, since it's a, a condensed field, everybody knows each other really well, but right now, no friends in the lineup. It's all about traditional longboard competition. And if you go way back, I mean, yes, longboarding is filled with soul. 5.16 to go. Activating on this left, it is Khalees. She gets to the nose, has to straighten off the wave crumbling around her, but it's going to give her enough energy to make this inside section. Be careful what you wish for. It's going to bowl up in a strange way, and here we go. It does. She rides straight down, nice and clean, to the sand. The best way to prevent a stingray whack is to run it over with your surfboard. With that coming off of it, and then Khalees. We're taking a look at this one. I love that outside combo. Finds a nose ride, gets that little car back. This wave closes out really quickly. It wasn't like a really huge redirect either until this moment. 
And then she just finds that flow and she does everything she needs to at this stage. She doesn't push that nose wrong. Let's take a look at what happened with Blue. So she's chasing a big score already, a 7.2. Finds that hang five. Honolulu identifies something coming in. Time is winding down. Three, two, one. And the horn blows just a second too soon. Honolulu can't catch that wave. Congratulations to Kalis Kaleopaa representing Oahu getting the win here at the Vans Duct Tape Invitational 2022. Gets a hug from Cousin and wow, you know that has to fire up our surfer in blue. Kaniala Stewart, his cousin just won the Vans Duct Tape Invitational and he's right out there to greet her. What a story we're starting to see unfold and what a performance by Kalise. I mean, style, grace, elegance, you could not crown a better woman to encompass.